Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 in another part of the Journeyman with Leeds United. Today, we have got the Season Decider, the final episode of Season 9, as we look to secure Champions League football for Leeds United for the first time in very many years indeed. We could finish as high as second, but we could also finish as low as seventh. So it really is going to be a lot on the line uh, today. We know that. And um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely excited to see how we get on uh, in this match. It's it's going to be a, a pretty pretty tricky one. Um, possible finishes second to, to uh, seventh, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know which way it's going to go. So leave a like if you are enjoying, of course, Transfer special tomorrow. Are we going to be preparing for a Champions League debut or are we going to be preparing for no European football at all? That's going to be the big question in tomorrow's episode. But first, we've got to find out how on earth we're going to do in the league. So, uh, since you were last with me against uh, Newcastle and Arsenal, we've done okay. So, since you were last with me, uh, finally, after a coffin fit... Uh, obviously, we beat Arsenal in the, the last episode 6 0. We did okay. We beat Swansea uh, or drew against Swansea City 0 0, drew against Southampton 1 0. Uh, we then beat Tottenham 2 0. Very good result there. Vitinha and Ramadani scoring there. Uh, we then drew 0 0 away to Aston Villa before beating Burnley 3 0 with Vitinha, Navarro, and Tiada scoring there. Uh, but most recently, we lost 2 0 to Chelsea. Um, big rivals, of course, Chelsea through competitive rivalries and uh well we should have already had it secured but um we go into these final two matches against west ham and west brom knowing that two wins guarantees us a champions league football because we are currently in fourth position in the premier league uh, we're on 65 points from 36 games newcastle ahead of us only on goal difference and liverpool four points ahead of us in second place man city and uh, Crystal Palace only a point behind and double champions Arsenal uh, two points or so, sorry three points behind ourselves so it it is going to be tricky to uh, work out exactly um what's going to happen here Vitinha could potentially end up with golden boot as well although Haaland has pulled away in that uh, um competition recently um Expected goals per 90 minutes. Vitinha wins that one. But, uh, yeah, key tackles. Tiata in there. Shots on target. Vitinha. You know, we've got lots and lots of the very, very best uh, players in this division. And, you know, I'm really, really proud of, of the team we have put together. Speaking of which, let's have a little look at squad performances before we get into it. Top goal scorer is Vitinha with 27 from 27. Six each for Navarro and Aronson. Five each for Alvaro, uh, Murray and Tiara. Top assists is nine for Navarro, seven for Kone. Six each for a bunch of players. And top average rating is uh, Cesare Casadai uh, with 7.21. Uh, also Edgar Navarro on a 7.21 average rating. Okay then, uh, without further ado, let's get ourselves into the team meeting for today. Uh, we're going to try and be positive. We're going to try and win the match rather than not lose it. Um, that, that's got to be the plan today. So fingers crossed we can do it with these 11 players. We've got Lunin starting in goal. We've then got Santos, Robinson, Tiara and Mizijin in defence. We've got Casadai and Ramadani in the defensive midfield positions with Nauf, Aronson and Navarro starting behind Vitinha up top. So here we go then into the match. We go and... Uh, well, West Ham, you know, a, a team that we've not got a great record against. But uh, at home, I'm fully expecting us to do the job here. So come on, boys, let's do it. Let's go and grab three points. And then uh, West Brom in the relegation zone as it currently stands. So they should be a team that we're able to defeat, um, if we're being completely honest. They're already down if they don't get a victory against Tottenham today. So... <clears throat> yeah, it's um yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be massive. So let's go out there. Come on, boys. Here's Mizogen with the throw, gets it to Navarro Mizogen again. 
Gets it to Ramadani, to Kasadai now. Back to Tiara. Tiara on the ball. Back to Ramadani. He has Mizogen. Mizogen forward to Navarro. What a run this is from Edgar Navarro on the left-hand side. Cuts inside and, well, perhaps should have got it onto his right boot and, and stuck it into the back of the net, but uh, didn't quite manage it there. And we're going to encourage the boys again. We've certainly been the better team in this first half an hour. Here's Alte. Gets it to Enzo Bayomo. Now to Kamara. Cleared by the goalkeeper. It's going to go straight to Tiara. Here's Tiara. Gets it to Casadai. Now here's Robinson. Robinson to Thiago Santos. He gets it to Nauf now. Good ball over the top towards Vitinha. Couldn't manage it. Suchek. Good header. Uh, Santos. It looked like a handball, to be honest, but he gets away with it. Here's Santos back to Robinson. Now Nauf. Nauf over the top. Vitinha's there, but loses out. And it's now West Ham on the counter-attack. But uh, Robinson... Cuts it out. And once again, we're pressing. As soon as we lose the ball, we're going back, trying to get it. Here's uh, Ramadani. Gets it to Tiara. Now forward to Navarro. Navarro through to Aronson. Aronson into Vitinha. Hits the pause. Vitinha's there with the follow-up. And he scores 28 goals this season for Vitinha. And he makes it 1-0 after half an hour in this match against West Ham United and that could go a long way towards securing us Champions League football for next season. He hit the post initially but was there ready for the follow-up and puts it into the back of the net. Absolutely brilliant from him. And it's now Leeds United 1, West Ham United 0. Here's Tiara. Gets it to Misogyn on the left-hand side. Would be lovely to get a second here. Get that cushion. Misogyn still bombing down that left. Gets it back to Ramadani. Here's Casadai forward to Edgar Navarro. Oh, how didn't he score that? That was ridiculous. But uh, as it stands, up to third position. Going within one point of Liverpool. And we'll keep an eye on their match. Later on, here's Teddy. Whips it in. Header. Oh, good save by Lunin. Off the line by Tiata. And that could be a crucial block on the line there. We've definitely been the better team. Let's see what we can do in the second half. Um, yeah, now if not done much. So we'll put Jorge on uh, that left-hand side. We'll put Navarro on the right. And we'll go for it. Here's uh, Thiago Santos with the throw. Gets it to Casadai. Santos. Oh, that was a, a poor ball towards Vitinha. It's cleared by the West Ham goalkeeper towards Jorginho. Here's uh, Thiago Santos again. Whips it over towards Jorge. Here's Mizogen. Mizogen back to Tiata now. Tiata back to Jorge. Here's Jorge on the ball. Gets it to Tiata. Now Casadai. Casadai still going. Great ball forward. Here's Jorge again. Jorge back to Mizogen now on the left-hand side. This could be 2-0 coming up right here. Jorge in to Navarro. It's Navarro again. Thiago Santos now whips it in and Navarro scores. Eventually, Edgar Navarro gets his seventh goal of the season. And that should be more than enough to get us through with three points in the bag. Wow, we needed that, didn't we? It was a, a, a good little movement there from Thiago Santos. Navarro put it into the back of the net. And now Leeds United 2, West Ham United 0. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm, ha I'm happy now. I'm very happy now. Um, Southampton beating Middlesbrough 4 0. Good to see them getting back into the, the top 10 of the Premier League. You know, they've had a, a bit of a struggle season by their standards. Um, Aronson's going to come off we're going to put on uh, Morgan Gibbs White he's surely somebody that we're going to say goodbye to at the end of the season um, Alvaro's going to come on for Vitinha uh, sorry Peter Murray is now Peter Murray only made 8 starts this season of course had a, a big injury broken arm for 3 months has scored some goals in the second half of the year would be nice to you know, give him a, a good pre-season next year to get himself back into it. I'm sure he will, you know, come out with um, with good value for his £55 million. But uh, there you are, 2-0 now is the victory against West Ham United. And, uh, well, we've put ourselves into a wonderful, 
wonderful position. We are now uh, three points clear of Manchester City. Much better goal difference. We are virtually guaranteed Champions League football for next season. Now then, we need to have a little uh, look at whether we can... Um, even finish second so Liverpool need to lose their match if we're to have a chance let's see if they do that well there you go Liverpool beat Everton 4-0 so we're not going to finish second but we can still finish third uh, we are favourites to do that Crystal Palace are currently the team in fourth place we could still finish as low as sixth um, because Crystal Palace have kind of messed all of this up by beating Chelsea 2-0. Who's this Uri Alberto guy? He looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, he scored 14 goals this season. Where on earth has this form come from, from Crystal Palace? That's what I'd like to know. Um, have they got a, a, a nice new gen in there that is pulling the strings? It doesn't look like it. It looks like they've just been getting good results. They've not really had players performing that well. I don't actually know how they're in the position that they are. You know, I mean, they've had an excellent second half of the season, but they're going to finish third now, aren't they? Uh, who have they actually got on the last day of the season? They're away to Burnley, who we've just beaten uh, a few matches ago. Hmm. Who have Liverpool got on the... Well, who have Newcastle got on the last day of the season? Newcastle have got Liverpool, right? Okay, so annoyingly, uh, Liverpool might lose their last game. Oh, we could have finished second. We really could have. Um, I'm intrigued to, to look at the, the points totals of previous seasons. Um, but anyway, that, that's all going to become irrelevant if we lose against West Brom. So we need to go out there now, beat the relegated team already, and uh, secure a third in the Premier League, I suppose. Right, uh, here we go then for the final match of the season. Massive, massive match. We have made a couple of changes to the squad. Olmo comes in for the injured Michael Robinson and Jorge comes in on the left-hand side with Navarro switching to his favoured right-side position. We are giving, uh, hopefully, a debut to our very own youth product, uh, Nat Wallbank, who is a 21-year-old English striker. Um, noticed he has been doing incredible stuff in the reserve scored 12 goals in 14 starts he's already a championship level striker got some really good attributes so we'll definitely be coming on today if we manage to uh, score especially because Peter Murray's injured again he's got a damaged elbow so he won't be playing in this final match of the year but uh, yeah let's get into it it's obviously going to be a very very tricky match um you know, West Brom have got nothing to play for. That makes them very dangerous, in in my opinion. So, I'm um I'm a little bit nervous. Of course, <laughs> it's one of those. We should win this, um, and we should finish third in the Premier League. But FM kind of doesn't like doing that, does it? Um, it likes to throw a few spanners into the works, but um. I mean, apparently we've been struggling away from home. I disagree with that. Um, yeah, we're going to send the assistant to that. There's no point in me answering stupid questions like that. Uh, Harry Winks, Stan Scarlett still playing for West Bromwich Albion. But uh, there is R11, our boys that I, I think we've really settled on this season. We've had some... Wonderful, wonderful matches. Good memories we'll have of season nine of the of the journeyman uh, for a long time to come. Let's go and finish the job. Let's go and qualify for the Champions League today. Let's do it. Come on, Leeds United. Crystal Palace already 1-0 up against Burnley, so they're looking like they're going to qualify for the Champions League as well. It would be unbelievable if both of us did it this season. You know, it would just be coming out of left field. Here's uh, Aronson. He gets a forward of Vitinha. Here's Jorge now. Jorge on the ball on that left-hand side. Still pushing. 
Very good run this is from Francisco Jorge. Whips it in and it's Vettinia with the header. And of course he scores, just like clockwork. 29th goal of the season for him. And at 31 years old, he certainly isn't finished yet. He's got another year on his contract, so he will be here until the end of next season. And well, who would bet against him having another cracking year like this next year? He is just an absolute goal machine in this system and that will lift us back up to third in the Premier League. Here's uh, Roberts with the throw but uh, Olmo cuts it out back to Lunin who clears it. Navarro's there but uh, decides to leave it for Roberts instead and uh, uh, gets us back into our shape which isn't a bad thing. Here's Wilson. Wilson on the ball still running forward here. Wilson gets it in and what a save from Lunin. What a signing he has been uh, you know, I think he's been one of the best goalkeepers in the league this season and uh, will rightfully be up there for one of our players of the year, I think. But uh, probably doesn't get as much credit as, as he maybe deserves because the defence in front of him is so good as well. Newcastle 1-0 up against Liverpool, so they're doing what they need to do as well. Um, which puts, of course, Crystal Palace and ourselves under pressure. <laughs> Liverpool, 71 points. We're so close to finishing second this season, but uh, no cigar. Here's Olmo with the ball. Gets it to Thiago Santos on this right-hand side. Now all the way back to Olmo again. Can we make it 2-0? Casadai forward. Great ball towards Jorge with the header over the bar from him. But uh, we are definitely looking... Like a top quality team today. Crystal Palace go 2 0 up through. Yuri Alberto 3 0. Hat trick for Yuri Alberto on this final day of the season. What a player he seems to be. I don't know where that form has come from because if you looked at his profile, he has not been that player in this save so far. But uh, 3 0 it is to them. He has Navarro with a possible free kick. Ooh, nearly good save by Iverson there. And, well, I don't think we need goal line technology from there, do we? Let's be honest. Right. 60 minutes gone. Edgar Navarro's going to come off. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for Tina there. I want to give Nat Wallbank half an hour. I want to see what he can do, what a hero he would be um, if we could pull that off. Olmo not having the best of games. So we're going to put Ramadani back there and we're going to bring on Kone. And that looks good. So here we go then. 30 minutes left. As I say, I wanted to give Nat Wallbank a, a go, but... I mean, it is a really important match. We might regret that because, uh, you know, that. Oh, that's a good tackle from Aronson. Here's Corny, gets a forward to Jorge, who's still going, runs through it. Can he cross? Oh, he scores himself. I thought he was going to ding it across for Nat Wallbank, but that surely seals our place in next season's Champions League. That was a, a lovely run from Jorge. That was. Reminiscent of Owen Dale, who just used to keep powering through. And, uh, well, what a final third of the season Francisco Jorge has had. He looked uh, the worst of the two out of him and uh, Edgar Navarro, but both of them have been brilliant. And here's Jorge again, whips it in. Tiara's there at the back post, makes it 3-0, puts the cherry on top of the icing of the cake. And, uh, well, it is now West Bromwich Albion nil, Leeds United 3 and Champions League, here we come. Third in the Premier League, the bronze medal, here we come as well. What a performance from everybody this season. Crystal Palace are going to be in the Champions League with us as well. And uh, Jorge into the middle. Oh, Wallbank hits the post. That was close to getting his first Leeds United goal. It would be wonderful if, if he could manage it. And now, should we get some goodbye players on? Who are going to be saying goodbye in the summer? Surely Morgan Gibbs-White is going to be, after many years of service. Um, Nauf could be as well. So we'll take Vatinia off. 
I do like Nauf, but I think we've got better options in those positions now, and it, he is going to drop off as we uh, head into next season and he gets another year older, another year on those legs, and uh, less first-team football. But uh, here come West Brom and Charbyan. Are they going to get a, a late consolation goal here? Great run. Good save by Lunin. And those are the sort of saves he's been pulling off all year. And I'll tell you what, I bet you he's, his stock levels have risen quite a bit. Yeah, let's bring Cassidy off. We'll put on Miano, our wonder kid. Because uh, he's been... Brilliant this year. Of course, started the year uh, in in the place of Cassidy, who, um, of course, was injured. But there it is, three points in the bag, and we are going to finish third in the Premier League. That is awesome. Um, Nat Wallbank looked dangerous on a couple of occasions, didn't get his debut goal. That would have been awesome, but uh, I'm sure we're going to see much more of him next season in the, the rotation with everybody else. But, uh, I mean, that was just wonderful. Um, an element of luck involved. What did you make of the tactical bat battle? I, I found it fascinating. And there it is, third place in the Premier League, one point behind Liverpool, Crystal Palace. Awesome job from them. Four goals from Yuri Alberto on the last day of the season. Where on earth has that form been in the entirety of the save you know i mean that's his best season by an absolute mile uh it's going to be 22 goals in 26 starts when we look at that and that is just ridiculous we have qualified for the champions league um we're one of the competitions a surprise surprise packages and you've got to be happy with that wall bank makes his debut um board set initial budget ah oh dear well we don't have a lot of money to spend we do not have a lot of money to spend and that's probably because of this financial situation we are in a lot of trouble so we might have to sell a couple of players before we buy i think we do need to strengthen I think in particular we probably need another centre-back. We did spend very big on the likes of Jose Manuel uh, Olmo and, uh, who was he, Michael Robinson, but neither have really performed at the top, top level of this squad. I think Michael Robinson will improve as things go on, but, um, yeah, another centre-back would probably be nice but you look at the rest of them they're all ready they're all ready for uh champions league football even brendan aronson you know he's really grown with the squad hasn't he over the years since 2022 23 and uh well that was his best season yet in the premier league vitinha again grown with the squad 25 goals this season in the league that's awesome and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, Yuri Alberto, what a player he is. 15 starts, 18 goals. Do we poach him? But, you know, surely he's not going to have another season like that. But there you go. There's the Premier League. And what a performance. We qualify in third position. Jorge on form. Let's put our arm around him. He was brilliant. Uh, Vitinha is happy. Santos is happy as well. Um, we've booked our Champions League ticket and we've received £34 million for achieving third place in the Premier League. Um, and we've paid out £9.25 million of that um, uh, between the squad and the backroom staff for, for finishing third in the Premier League. That really is awesome. Um, yeah, what a player he is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How on earth he scored four on the last day of the season? I, I just mind boggles. But uh, there it is. That's your Premier League. That's your lot. Um, and the, the board are going to be absolutely 
delighted with that. A plus, you know, sign players under 23 for the first team. They're very happy with that. Um, we've hit part of the um part of the uh long term vision. You know, by the end of 2035, that's when we were going to be qualifying for the Champions League. We've already done that. Um, the board is still, you know, looking for a little bit more from us, which is a shame. Um, and they're disappointed with Peter Murray. I mean, I'm disappointed with Peter Murray. He is wanted by Tottenham. You know, he did only score three Premier League goals this season after scoring 16 in the Premier League last year. And he does look like an awesome player. But if Tottenham come calling and offer 100 million for him, I don't think we're going to say no, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But it has been a fabulous season. And if you have enjoyed it, then give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. Champions League football. Come on.